Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day. And today we are having a look at one of the biggest problems that you'll have when you're working with a large piles of data or groups of data. And that's that often you'll have duplicate lines or columns that you need to work with. So today I'm going to show you a way that you can eliminate your duplicate rows to streamline your data set without having to manually go through and find them because that's a waste of everybody's time, right? But we want it to be correct. So in my data set here, we've got all those very familiar names again. And one of my favorites, Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air, he's here, but he's also here and he's also here. Now this is fine in this particular set of data. I could just delete those rows. But if I had hundreds or thousands of rows of data, which happens with things like reconciliations and bank statements and database exports, how many times do you have the same person has four or five records and you want to make sure that doesn't happen with whatever you're going to use it for. So here's how we fix that. I can click anywhere in here, doesn't matter. Now my window is a little bit squished up so that you can see it really clearly on your screen. However, from the data tab, you're going to have a section called data tools as you move across the ribbon. And under that, you'll have an option called remove duplicates. All right, so we're going to remove the duplicates and the little pop-up that comes up is going to say, how do I know what a duplicate is? Where are we looking at things? And this is important because sometimes you'll have several people or several records that might have the same postcode, the same phone number, the same uh, company name. So we want to make sure we're only looking for things that are unique. So ID numbers, barcodes. In this instance, I am going to look for a combination of first name, last name and occupation. OK, because I might have another Carlton Banks who is a different person. The odds are very low, but. Let's go with first name, last name, and I'm going to go with first name, last name, and occupation. So where those three are all identical, row to row to row, it's going to pull them out and find me only one or keep only keep one for me. I've marked that my data has headers. We click OK. Two duplicates were found. 15 originals remain. So you can see now we've got Carlton at number seven, but he's not here between Fran and Kevin and he's not down here hanging out with Phoebe. So I now, if I was to use this for a mail merge or something else, it's not going to produce duplicate labels or letters or certificates for Carlton. He will just get one. If you have been doing this manually, then this could be an absolute time saver for you. Check it out and see how it works in your spreadsheets.